How are you all doing? My name is Pradeep and welcome to my channel Gaming with Claire. As you guys already read the title that this video is about how to set up a dual PC streaming setup, which I have my gaming PC right here and my streaming PC is sitting down there. Now I have done this video in the past as well, but that video was not much detailed. And also I have changed my system ever since. So there was like multiple other integrations to this setup that I have changed a few things later on, which I kind of realized that the setup that I initially have done was a bit outdated. Now, now this setup is pretty good. And also you do not need any mixer and any other expensive tools. Like literally it's the cheapest and the best way to do a dual PC streaming setup. So yeah, I'm going to take you guys along with me in this video. What I'm going to talk about is the hardware you need to for a dual PC streaming setup, the softwares you need for a dual PC streaming setup, and what are the different methods to achieve a good streaming from dual PC and what are the pros and cons of those all methods are. So we're going to start from the hardware first. Let me show you guys what we need. Let's talk about the hardware you will need for this application. First, foremost, obviously two PCs, gaming PC, string PC. The second most important part you will need is a capture card. It could be any capture card. For in my case, I use HD60 Plus from Elgato. The way it is connector is there's an HDMI in and a USB-C out and also a HDMI out here. So in my application, I have a display cable going from my gaming PC to my main gaming monitor. So that way I can avoid any interruptions from my capture card so that I have a direct connection from my gaming PC to my gaming monitor. And I also have another HDMI cable going from my gaming PC to the capture card, which sends my signals from my gaming PC to the capture card. Now the capture card is capturing everything, whatever's happening on my main display because I have duplicated the displays, which I will show you guys further in the video when we get to that step. Um, from there on, this USB cable takes the signals from my capture card and it plugs into USB 3.0 port on my streaming PC. Once I have it plugged into my streaming PC, I can basically add all my scenes and everything in my OBS and select the capture card as Elgato or whichever capture card you guys use to display my game in my streaming software, which is an OBS Studios. In your case, you could be using Streamlabs or anything. It is the same process for everything. Now we're going to hop onto the OBS and I will explain to you guys every single thing you need to do uh, inside the OBS. And first, we're going to hop onto our gaming PC, show you guys what you need to do on a gaming PC, and then we will hop onto our streaming PC. So these first settings is on your gaming PCs. Go into your display settings. You will see these two things. You will see two different displays. This first display is my 1440p monitor, and the second display is my capture card. Now, all you need to do is go down. You see this, uh, it says extend these displays. What you need to do is click on it and say duplicate these displays. When you do that, everything from your main display will be copied down to your capture card. And similarly from the capture card, it'll bring down to your OBS. So whatever you're doing on your main display will be copied down to your streaming software. That is the only thing you need to do on a gaming PC. Now we're going to jump onto streaming PC and how to set up everything in streaming PC side. Now, once we're done with our gaming PC, we got to set up a couple things in our OBS in our streaming PC. So that way we can have our game capture from our gaming PC sent over to the streaming PC. There are a couple things you need to consider here. First, let me give you guys a quick rundown. What is the layout of this OBS Studios? Now, I'm currently I'm using OBS.Live. This is a plugin that is, has been installed on OBS. So if you guys see a little bit of different here, um, you may have to kind of like search it up. It's pretty much same as the regular OBS It's just that there's a plugin I have installed so that way I have this um, Green start streaming sayer. Uh, there's a little bit of a different look here But other than that, there's not really much difference here now all these settings will be identical to Streamlabs OBS as well. If you're one of them who uses that, you can actually have a pretty much same idea from here for that as well. I know that there are some options that are different in there, but there's not really much difference in that either. Now, as you guys know that we have already done our settings on the gaming PC, as our capture card is already being made the same information as we have on our main display while we're gaming. Now our capture card is bringing in that information through a USB cable which is plugged into our streaming PC. Now how to get that information into OBS so we could stream. Let me give you guys a quick rundown. Now over here if you see 
this is a scenes this is where you need to add a scene first so i've already added one so all you have to do is just click on here it'll say add scene you can rename it whatever under that scene you have to add your sources now under the sources let me give you guys a quick rundown here so if you guys can see here you can also zoom in the picture so at the very top here we got applications audio capture that is um, a little bit of a beta option that's a recent option it's not gonna apply to most of your situations so you can actually skip this part so next part is our audio input capture anything that has related to sending audio into your stream will go under here so let's say you want to add a microphone you want to add an audio from an actual source i will be talking in depth about audio settings in our next video so let's not waste time here so this is the just the audio capture device now what we're going to focus in this video is basically more over towards the game and video capture devices which in this scenario now this is where you will be adding all your scenes and everything which is video capture device now this option applies to everything that has anything related to sending video into your stream so which means your webcams your capture card details all the information from your capture card from your gaming pc which will be under here as well anytime you need to add something new you have to come back here and anything that extra you need to send into your stream you have to select this for each and every single time for example we click here it says video capture device i can name it as elgato which is my capture card right so let's name it as so once i click ok here it's going to ask me to select where my capture card is so you, this drop down menu you guys see here i'm going to click on here i'm going to select my capture card so i'm going to select the capture card here and i will hit ok so there we go this is where my game everything my game display is and that's it that's how you bring in your game display from your gaming pc to streaming pc now to the next part your webcams your other sources like your overlays um, anything that you want to add alerts and everything will all fall under this exact plus sign so you have to add every single source right under here let me get back to here now we did skip a little bit here which i did not say anything is a browser source here let's say you guys want to add an overlay you can create an overlay under stream elements website as well you could get overlay from any other website like there are multiple websites over the internet where you can get an overlay from once you get an overlay there will be url that you can copy from that overlay so what do you do with that is you come over to your obs you click on this browser source let's say for example i'm gonna name it as my gameplay so this is going to be a main overlay of my gameplay so i'm gonna hit okay for this right so this is where i will be pasting that url that i need for my obs overlays for my main gameplay so it could be anything you literally have to copy it from your actual so let me show you guys how what i'm talking about so let me show you guys an example here so this is my overlay gallery um if you guys want me to give you some overlays and stuff let me know i can help you out with that so this is the one that i have already created right this is my general overlay that I've, i have been rocking from a while so what you can do is either you can copy a link directly from here or you don't even have to come here so when you're here all you need to do is just click on here and say it's copy url so i'm gonna do that once you do that for example you come back here click on there and paste the next thing you need to do is you have to set the resolution so which is 1920 the next one is your 1080p you don't need to do anything else um, all these are use custom frame rate and everything if, if you want to it's really up to you but this is all you need to do once you do that you click ok that overlay will pop on you see mm, this is the overlay so the second thing you need to make sure is everything is in exact order so for example if i drop it up on the top if i move it under here see my overlay is gone 
so you need to keep things in order here so if let's say you have already done everything but you cannot see your overlay all you need to do is click here and move it up so that way this is my bottom thing so you have to stack things over and over and over so if you're let's say if you want to stack things on top so that way you can see things this that's the what you need to follow here you need to stack things over so my elgato is under here my overlay will be on top and if i want to add my webcam so let's say i want to add a face cam right so i'm going to go back here into video capture devices click on here and let's say i name it as face cam and once i do that i can just hit ok on it and i would just select my logitech face cam the one thing you guys need to notice in here is that you need to go up down here hit custom and type in first resolution basically most of the cameras are 1920 by 1080p so once you do that even though my i need to do some settings and stuff here but you can see right here it's it's too bright i need to lower the settings and stuff here so once i do that i'm just gonna have to adjust it and when i adjust it i can drag it down here so just like that my face cam is set up right under where i have my overlay creator now that overlay is specifically designed to fit this face cam at the side and now if you guys have been watching my stream if you haven't please go check out my twitch channel there's a link in my bio as well for that but back to the story if you guys have been watching my streams you guys can see that i've been rocking this exact layout from almost a year or so so this is how you set up your video capture devices so anything that's gonna happen on another screen that you guys are watching right now this is my gaming pc see my cursor is moving my i have my actual cursor here but my other cursor is moving on my gaming pc that's my capture card which is capturing everything in real time on my gaming pc and sending it over to my streaming pc i also have my webcam which is attached and we just set it up now the stacking policy you need to make sure that whatever you want to have at the top it is actually at the top in your sources tab as well that's basically it for your scenes and gameplays and stuff now the third thing you may want to do it some people do it i don't really do it so for example you want to add a custom alerts anything custom let's say something somebody donated you some bits or somebody did something uh donation or anything let's say you want to have something custom popped up on your display you have to there are multiple websites that you can create custom alerts from right so once you have that custom alerts from that will generate a url just like we created our overlay scenes when you have that url all you need to do is come back here click on this and go to the browser tab once you're in the browser tab, you made it, let's say, custom. Or maybe, let's say we name it as alerts, right? We name it as alerts. Hit OK. Now you'll paste that URL right under here. Paste that. And for example, now most of these URLs are, there's no background. And they will not be like, they, they're not going to be there for like all the time. When, the, when that particular thing happens, they'll pop up in this exact window. Now I can drag it. Let's say I want to lower it down. I want to have that happen right in the middle of the screen, which is a stupid idea. But let's say you want to have it. You'll have that URL set up, everything set up, and you'll drag it right in there. And as soon as that exact moment happens in your stream, that actual alert that whichever alert you guys have set up so when you're when you're setting up an actual alert all those websites will give you instructions as well how to follow their instructions so if it sucks somewhere you can actually follow instructions every single thing that you do here has some sort of instructions even though obvious if you go into their help section you can actually check in all the instructions there how to do your audios compressors how to do everything video fine tuning but this is like a tutorial how you do it if you're gonna go in details and depth you can always check out my discord channel there's a link in bio for that as well come over to discord leave me a dm do anything whatever you want to to reach out to me i'll be more than happy to help you guys out but until then 
Watch out for my next video. It will be out in a day or two. That's where we will be talking about audio scenes. This video was how to do basic things like captioning your video from gaming PC and adding your sources like your cameras and stuff. This is for beginners. So if you guys made it all the way to the end, thank you very much for watching the video. Please make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channels if you haven't. And also biggest thing, please share share and support i only have 150 subscribers in here and my goal is to hit thousand subscribers within the next three months so i don't know if i'll be able to do it but with you guys if you guys decide to support we can actually do that exact thing within five days i have seen that happening so hopefully you guys will help and support me and until then i'll see you guys in the next video